channel having a unusually warm day for January here anyway on to the subject of the video that is basically that I think that I've got potentially the greatest gas can that you can have or even bar oil container or dispenser that you can get on the market let me bring you in a little closer to the MS 170 and I'll show you why at least compared to a traditional gas can I think that this is a much better system all right so this is the gas can that I've been using uh, traditionally here with the chainsaw just a traditional plastic gas can I do have one of these uh, nozzles on here that you can buy aftermarket so you can throw away your old uh, bad gas can nozzles anyway the issue is as you know if you're watching this this video you probably have a pretty good idea already you remove the cap on the chainsaw fuel tank and you take off well I have to take off the nozzle and you start pouring and when you get to that point this point here if you've got a full gas can it just goes all over the place it rushes out of there spills on over makes a big mess right with the bar oil if you're using sorry it's kind of out of shot there behind the handle but if you're using a quart bottle, it's not really quite the same problem. But if you're buying bulk chainsaw fuel, not fuel, but bulk chainsaw oil, then it could be the same problem. Dumping oil all over the place. Or you have to grab a funnel or whatever. I have a solution. I sort of came up with this as a gas can when I was about 15 or 16. This product I'm about to show you. Uh, basically, I was looking at the laundry detergent that my mom had tied one of these bottles with the dispenser and I thought you know what that would make a good gas can dad doesn't like me using the gas or his gas in the lawnmower I've got uh, for my quads and stuff I've got to buy my own gas and so I'm thinking I don't have a gas can so I'm going to use one of those things so I started using them and my dad thought that that was a pretty good idea and at some point he picked it up for using with the chainsaws let me show you why I think this thing is awesome first of all this is the spout you can stick it straight down in the tank, and I'm gonna bring the saw a little bit closer. Might not be the best view for you guys, but a little bit better view for me. No spills, right? Shaking it up, nothing spilling out. I can open up this vent cap a little bit and push the nozzle and even control the flow, right? I can push it down a little bit or I can push it down hard to see how much fuel is flowing through there. I have way more control when I see that the fuel tank is starting to get full, just like it was. Hopefully you can see that the tank is full. I still have some fuel in here. Then I can take my thumb off the button and there's no mess, no problems. Hopefully you can see the fuel is right there coming out, just about to fall out of the tank. So I'm gonna put the lid on, no mess, no problems, ready to go. Now I can understand why somebody would maybe not want to use this for a fuel tank. And that's because this thing is not rated for fuel. In fact, I think somewhere on this bottle, they tell you not to use it for anything other than detergent. You're doing this at your own risk, 100%, if you choose to use these Tide bottles as a fuel tank. But I think that this is probably the perfect thing for chainsaw fuel. Uh, as I was saying, if you don't wanna use it as a fuel container, you can definitely use this thing as a bar oil container. I think that's perfect. Um, I'd like to get another one that I put bar oil in so that I can dispense bar, bar oil right into here and not waste a bunch because I always have problems wasting bar oil. Anyway, guys, yes, it is a little bit on the redneck side. I, I admit that um, it's not the prettiest thing, but utility overlooks definitely an awesome way to fuel up your gas tank or your bar oil tank very cheaply. The things are free. You pretty much throw them away if you're using this kind of laundry soap. So anyway, guys, hopefully, uh, you know, you at least found this interesting even if you're not going to convert over to it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you haven't given this video a big thumbs up, make sure you do that. It helps the channel out big time. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've got any great solutions or better solutions than the Tide bottle or if you think that the Tide bottle is just something you'd never use and tell me why in the comments. I may have already said this, but if I haven't, 
If you're not a subscriber, make sure you click subscribe, get some content like this. I, I do kind of a variety of things, but uh, I would say that all kind of has to do a little bit with rural living if I was to try and put a blanket term on it. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.